guys, let's talk about a feature that I don't think I use well enough. This is one that I know I need to use more, but I don't. So let's work on it together. This is going to be grids in Canva. Hmm. So a grid is when you click on elements and you scroll all the way down and you're going to see this little grids guy and you've probably been ignoring it because there's also this handy little frames here where I could just click on the square and duplicate. Let's make me smaller. Hmm. Uh, and duplicate and sort of canoodle your way into something resembling, but the proportions might not be right. Okay, in this case, this worked really nicely. So now you've got all these things. And as you know, frames are, um, they're basically clipping masks that you can put stuff into. Man, I was really on like a Greek statue phase there. So you can drag and drop. They're really, really cool. See a separate video about frames. Um, okay. But let's say that, let's go over here. Let's go over here because this is a different size document. Um, I'm working on a Canva editable style guide. You guys know style guides. They're what your logo is going to be in. And I'm working on one that is specifically for Canva. It's obviously blank. I have not started it yet. But I know that I want to have a mood boarding section of that. So I'm going to come over here in grids. And the really cool thing about grids is that these are showing you what they look like on a square, but they fill the container they're in. So watch, I'm going to click on this two up right here and notice how it filled the container. It's not exactly the same shape right here. So let's look at this one, this three, this three top to bottom. See how it's longer and skinnier? Ah, there's the sheep. Did you guys know that there's a sheep <laughs> in the Canva um, preset image thing? You just have to get zoomed out enough. Um, so let's check out this one. You see that it's, it's changing its proportion and it's filling the shape that it's in, which is super duper rad. You can also ah, change it up. So in this case, I wanna do something pretty like mood board, I'll probably use a Canva font, probably one of the tan, tan fonts, because who doesn't love a tan font, right? Uh, yeah, we'll probably do like this or something. Oh, we love it, yay. Um, for a mood board, I'm gonna want these to be, I don't know, kind of funky and fun. I'll probably do a video of instructions on how to do this anyway. So I'm gonna choose maybe, and there's so many you can pick from, maybe this one. Obviously, I don't want it to fill the whole thing because I want my text to be over here. So now I've got this. Now, these two are way too tall and skinny. There's just not going to be a good proportion for that. Here we go. Perfect. This is a grid, three and three. So now I can scoot this over. And look at that. Isn't that neat? This is such an underutilized tool that I know that I'm not using very well. And there's just um, so many different layouts for this. I actually even want more. How many can I fit on here. This one looks like it would be nice for a mood board, like two big ones and four small ones. It's just a great way. Ooh. Oh, I'm so distracted. It's a great way to get a bunch of frames on a page without having to think too much about it. Now, again, this works for um, this uh, format as well. Um, just as a fun side note, I hate this view. So I always click this little arrow right here to then take it to the scrolly view because that's who I am. So I'm going to click on elements. I'm going to scroll all the way down to grids. And then for Pinterest, look at that. How cool, because I need to work on my Pinterest pins. See, that's going to be too tall and skinny, but this is such a fun format. This would probably work great for a newsletter header if you wanted to do a bunch of um, items. Now the alternative to this, if you're like, Olivia, I just like, don't get it. Absolutely, you could come in here and if you just had your images, you could resize them and make your own fancy little grid yourself. You absolutely don't have to use one of Canva's grids. This is just probably gonna take you a hot second. I mean, truthfully, this is just gonna take you a minute to sit in here and kind of think about, think about how you want to reshape all of these items, right? This just could take you a second. So the grids are going to be a little bit of a time saver. I know that I'm going to use them for my uh, Canva style guide template. 
Um, all right, this has been a true speedy Canva Tip Weekly. Check out the grid section, see if you can play around with it, and then of course comment and let me know if you've ever used it before or um, a clever way you might have used it. Thanks so much. We're